Hello friends, welcome to the Healing Bite. You need to hear this if you love sparkling clean homes, baking soda and vinegar, not the magic duo you think. Let's dive into why this combo is popular despite its inefficacy. The bubbling reaction is visually satisfying and gives the impression of a powerful cleaning action. Baking soda is a base, and vinegar is an acid. When you mix them, you get that fun bubbling reaction. This is why many believe it works wonders. However, the science tells a different story. When baking soda and vinegar react, they neutralize each other, resulting in a weak solution of water and sodium acetate. Not much cleaning power there. So why do people rave about this combo? It's the bubbles. They create a bit of scrubbing action but that's about it. Baking soda and vinegar? Awesome solo acts but a total bust as a team. Want real results? Use them separately. For grease, baking soda is your guy. Make a paste with water, create a mild abrasive and a great deodorizer. It works well on grease and grime because it can break down fatty acids and dissolve dirt. Slather it on oven stains, let it sit then scrub away. On the other hand, vinegar, which is acetic acid, is excellent for dissolving mineral deposits, cutting through soap scum, and removing odors. Vinegar's your bestie, spray it on, wait a bit and wipe clean. Another reason people might mix baking soda and vinegar is for the fun and satisfaction of seeing the fizzing reaction. It's a bit like a mini science experiment in your kitchen. But remember, the fizzing is just carbon dioxide gas being released, and it doesn't contribute to cleaning power. One exception though, cleaning drains or garbage disposals. Pour baking soda down the drain, follow with vinegar, and let the fizzing fun begin. It helps dislodge debris but use it while it's bubbly. Avoid these common mistakes, no baking soda on glass, finished wood or natural stone countertops, too abrasive, and keep it away from gold-plated or antique silver items too harsh. So there you go. Next time you're tempted to mix these two, think about what you're trying to achieve. If it's a clean surface, use them one at a time. If you want to impress your kids with a cool reaction, go ahead, but don't expect it to clean your kitchen for you. Found this helpful? Give us a thumbs up, share with friends, and hit that subscribe button for more smart tips. Got a cleaning myth for us to bust? Drop it in the comments below. Until next time, keep it clean, keep it safe, and see you in the next video.